Now that we have enabled SSH and we know the IP address that will always be assigned to our Pi, we can connect into it from a remote computer. Uh, we will connect into the Pi using SSH so that we can have access to it, access to the command line. Uh, we will use PuTTY for this, which I already have open and, or, or installed and open. And we will connect into the Pi using SFTP so we can transfer files between the Pi and our management computer, in my case, Microsoft Windows. Um, to the FTP client that I will be using is called FileZilla. If you don't have PuTTY or FileZilla installed, uh, please pause this video and do that now. If you need to install PuTTY, make sure you are also installing the PuTTY key generator. And I actually don't have that open at the moment. But that is this program which we will use to generate keys. Uh, this should be included by default if you are using the installer to install PuTTY. Uh, so we will start with our SSH connection using PuTTY. So if you don't have PuTTY open, go ahead and open it now. And then in the host name or IP address field, we're going to put the Pi's IP address. In our case, it's 192.168.1.87. Uh, we will leave the port field set to 22, the connection type set to SSH. And then I'm going to put a name here for this connection, and I'm just going to call it Baseline. And then I'm going to click on Save. Uh, just to note, if you ever need to edit this connection, let's say the IP address changes, you can click on the name of the connection, and then Load, Make Your Changes, and then click on Save again. So once you have your connection saved, uh, make sure it's highlighted and then click on open at the bottom. And you will be prompted uh, for this message that says the server's host key is not cached in the registry. Uh, go ahead and say yes to that. And then you will be prompted to enter a username and password. In our case, we will use the master and the master's password. Okay, so that takes care of our SSH connection. Uh, let's connect in using FileZilla. So if you have just installed FileZilla, uh, the site manager screen may already be open. If not, click on the site manager button in the menu. So then you will click on new site and then I'm going to call this baseline. And again, simply put the host name or IP address rather here. Uh, port 22, change the protocol to SFTP. And I'm going to change the logon type from anonymous to normal. And I'm going to give it a username and password. and then simply click on connect. And then this will take you, this has logged us in, and that takes you to whichever account you used uh, that home directory. So we're in the master's home directory and you can actually see the hidden files that are in the home directory right now. Uh, there's not a whole lot of other stuff that's in the home di directory right now. So that takes care of connecting into the Pi remotely using SSH as well as SFTP.